Okay, I just wanted to do a quick update on my video on the Desire Z port by Dandiest. This is version 2.6 now. I'm running it on NAND, and I am using NAND for the storage. I'm not using the EXT4 partition. I did use the EXT4 partition the first time I flashed this ROM, and it was great. It was very fast, but the second time I flashed it, I just did something a little different, and uh, it's worked for me now, so I haven't changed it back. I decided to go ahead and let this one sit on my phone for a week and really give it a good test to just, uh, not only that, but actually just take a break from flashing all the time and just, uh, you know, use the phone and enjoy it because it's really working well for me. Um, I haven't overclocked it or anything. I'm running it at the stock clock speed, which is 998, and that's been more than sufficient as far as just keeping it very fast, very snappy. Um, just giving you some ideas of how quickly it's running and you guys can flash it for yourselves and see uh, all the goodness and the GPS works extremely quick for me um, I do have it configured to my country what well, comes default but if you uh, have it configured I think it is very quick um, as well as obviously, like I said, everything very stable. Um, I've used this for, like I said, about a week, and I haven't noticed the uh, battery being terribly draining at all, or the system being draining on the battery. It's been really a decent battery life. Every time I've used it, you know, I use it and I get about two, between two and five milliamp hours in standby, and um, it stays pretty stable while I'm using it during the day even for all my good stuff GPS and uh, you know sometimes I'm outside and I have it uh, turned up pretty high as far as the screen brightness but it keeps really good uh, battery life and it's just been very smooth very stable so it's been great to see that I'll just show you I keep like I said stock clock speed I don't use task managers to kill any of the applications just kind of let it run and keep itself uh, maintained and it gives me a really good smooth ROM. I'm going to run some uh, quadrant speeds here. Uh, I haven't noticed any uh, data drops, any problems with the data at all. I have it set to PPP instead of RMNet, but that's just my personal preference. Works well for me. Um, like I said, I haven't had any data drops, and I've had really good speeds. I've also used Wi-Fi all the time when I'm around my house, and that works very well in this ROM as well. I did actually go ahead and take one of the updates to run to uh, MDJ's kernel 10.4, and that's the one that I have currently right now. Um, and I honestly I can't say I notice much difference between the uh, 10.0 that comes with this ROM without any updating and the uh, score there 1292 and it, it's usually between 11 and you know mid to high 1300s for the quadrant and like I said it's it's just a really fast ROM I have had no complaints about it and honestly I'm just relieved I've used it on my phone nonstop for uh, a week now and it's just really keeping great speed and I don't have any desire to go and switch to some of the other ROMs that I've, I've already ran through because this one's just already been so stable right out of the gate so I just wanted to kind of give you a preview of that and uh, like I said one of the more recent versions of this ROM now I'm going to go ahead and just show you the uh, phone information so you can see that version 2.6 for NAND and then the uh, like I said the uh, overclock kernel 10.4 uh, by MDJ is what I'm running right now and I'll also show you the uh, storage space that I have using NAND on my US HD2 I have 319 available still um, using like I said the internal storage on this phone after the clean installation I had about 598 I believe megabytes free on NAND um, I know I think I've heard the European ones it's different you'd have like 80 after the installation but 
um, then it would make it more imperative to use the EXT4 partitions, but I did use that for a while and that was really fast as well, so um, I just really wanted to give you a quick look at it. My battery's getting pretty low on my phone, but it's a fantastic ROM that I've used uh, since first release and great to see it on NAND and running honestly better than ever. So enjoy this ROM. Go ahead and flash, post your questions in the thread, and uh, thank you Dandies for your hard work on this ROM. Enjoy.